Dr. Allison Nugent from the Atmospheric Sciences Department at the University of Hawaii at Manoa joins us once again this morning. Good morning, Doctor. Hi, thank you for having me. Of course, so happy to have you. And when I emailed you last Thursday to bring you in, um, I really did so because I know your background and your area of expertise. For those at home that don't know, talk about your background in school as well as your studies now. Yeah, sure. So I'm, I'm a, currently a professor at University of Hawaii, and I do research that's related to how islands interact with weather. So the subfield is called orographic precipitation, as we joked about last week. Uh, but it's all about how, how islands lift air and bring air to saturation and cause precipitation. I also have dabbled a bit in tropical cyclone research, so I know I know about hurricanes and how they affect terrain. Yes, so basically the best person to have <laughs> on the show. Okay, and, and with this system, you know, we were talking all last week about why it was doing what it was. So, so for those who weren't able to tune in, why did Lane react the way that it did? You know, when it came up north, why did it take that northerly track and then shift over to the west? Sure. So as it was coming from the east along the, the south, to the south of the state, there was a high pressure system to the north, and that's what was keeping it moving on that westward track. But then the, westward, the western side of that high pressure system started to erode, allowing it to take this turn towards the north. Mm -hmm. Then, as we all know, it slowed down significantly. As it, came upon, uh, as it approached the state, it started slowing down so much, its track was pretty unpredictable, in part because of our islands and how they affect the wind field and it just brought so much moisture to the state. That's right, and a lot of that moisture still lingering here today. Yeah. So, so what can we expect today into tomorrow? Why are we seeing this moisture stick around? Because I know a lot of people assume that along with the tropical storm or the hurricane moving away from us, that the, it would take the moisture with it. Yeah, so if you imagine a storm right here turning counterclockwise, it's not just a small thing, it's actually pretty large. Mm -hmm. And so as it's rotating, it's just bringing up so much deep tropical moisture. At the equator, there's a lot of, a lot of heat, a lot of evaporation, a lot of humidity in the mm -hmm. air, and all of that was just dragged over the state. Yeah. And we know that our islands act as squeezing the sponge of the atmosphere, and, and it it did exactly that on the big island. Yeah, and that's what's lingering around. Now, I want to talk about Hawaii Island because even the Central Pacific Hurricane Center, when we were initially forecasting this, with a hurricane, it's really that right-hand side that you'll see the bulk of the convection. You'll see a lot of potentially tornadoes form. You'll see the thunderstorms. And so, you know, with the band that sw sw took a swipe up, a lot of people were expecting it to mainly be impacting the Kona Coast. So why did that not happen? Yeah, I think it's due to the, that wind field, as mm -hmm. we just talked about. There was some, there were some wind bands, rain bands, I apologize, for that, that moved onshore the Kona coast, but most of it just came from the south and impacted the southeast side of the Big Island. Yeah, and speaking of, of course, what you study with the mountains, if those weren't there, Kona would have gotten just as much rain. So right. can you talk about how the terrain impacted this as well? Sure, so as the wind is lifted by the by the coastline and by those mountains. It lifts it up, can bring it to saturation, and then produces rain. And then the opposite effect is that as the air then moves down the lee side, which in this case was the Kona coast, that air then dries out and you get less precipitation there. Yes, and orographic lifting, you guys, that's actually the same exact mechanism when you talk about windward showers, why the windward areas are typically wetter than the leeward sections. Same exact mechanism. Exactly. Okay, so as the system leaves us, Lane actually, just this morning, re-strengthened to a tropical storm. Is that going to be impacting us in any way? No, not okay. significantly. It seems like it's out of the picture. The wind field is not very strong. It's pretty far away. We still have that lingering moisture as we talked about, mm -hmm. but hopefully that'll go away soon too. Yes, hopefully. <laughs> and it looks like a drier air mass starting to fill in more so tomorrow. But even so, we have really, uh, looks like a lot of, of course, upper level clouds coming through, but it even looks like in the last couple of frames we've had some nice convection uh, just to the south of Kauai as well. And actually some heavy showers have developed. Um, and again, Kauai right now currently under a flood advisory. But as the system was passing to the south of the island chain, so much of this just lingered across Maui County and Hawaii Island you think, you know, of this widespread system, you would have assumed all of this, you know, might drag towards Oahu and Kauai. Why did we not see so much of the rainfall? That's a great question. I wondered that myself. There were multiple times that there were rain bands that looked like they were coming towards mm -hmm. Oahu, where, where we live, and then they just didn't come through. 
Um, it may be that that side of the storm was a little bit more stable, that it wasn't so convectively active. And so as the rain bands approached that area, they weren't able to do their thing. Um, but honestly, I'm not sure at this point. I think that'll be a, an interesting topic of future research. Yeah, and potentially someone's, <laughs> you know, uh, research paper it might yeah. be uh, towards their PhD. <laughs> All right, so um, not talking about theses going on, <laughs> but a lot of people, and I, I'm seeing this on social media, and granted, it's not too many, uh, but people are saying, you know, why, why was this so overhyped? We, this wasn't even coming towards us. What would you say to people that are saying that? It's a, it's a really common thing to feel like, you know, I'd made all this preparation and then I didn't get to use my water. But I would say that you're really lucky. You, mm -hmm. should be, you should be very thankful that you didn't have to use your emergency preparations because there are people on the Big Island that did need to. Mm -hmm. all, storms are so local. They affect different places differently. And you never know in advance what's going to be the result. And so it's so hard to say. Like, the fact that you were prepared is great. Mm -hmm. So don't, take, don't, don't do anything different next time. So true. And it is hurricane season, so you, can, you guys keep your supplies on hand. And just a couple days out, when it was to still to the south of us, Oahu was still under that cone of uncertainty. So it was looking like we could potentially see what was looking like a direct hit from a Category 1 hurricane. And even our friends at the Central Pacific Hurricane Center, who I'm friends with on Facebook, were posting their preparations. And when even they're pre preparing for this, you guys, it, it was a real possibility. Absolutely. It could have been, it could have been much, much worse. Yes. And, I mean, it was really bad for some people. Let's not That's minimize true. that. Mm -hmm. But for, for Oahu, at least from what I saw, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. that bad but it could have been much worse so, so true and always good to be prepared that is very true and again hurricane season runs through november so always be prepared well thank you so much doctor for coming on and breaking down why exactly we saw what we did again you were such a big help <laughs> over the weekend and last week as well so we really appreciate you again dr allison nugent from the university of hawaii atmospheric department atmospheric sciences department so happy Thanks. to have you again thank you